Hey guys, Becky here, Bugs You Baker. Welcome back to my channel. So today we are going to be making something a little bit different. We're going to be working on some apple blossoms that I used on my Snow White cake. And we're not going to be using flower paste for them. What we're going to be using is wafer paper. The other thing that we'll be making really quick is an apple. I'll show you how to shape it and how to color it so you can get it to a more realistic state. Let me show you a few more. All right, so without focusing too much on the cake, this is the apple. Different shades. Here goes some of the apple blossoms. What I really enjoyed about using the wafer paper this week for these is that they're so tiny and I hate working with wires and wafer paper just makes it so much easier to work with a wire so I'm going to show you that method and then with the apple it really wasn't that hard because you don't want to go for perfection here you just want to go for a general shape so that it looks more realistic and realistic apples are not perfect they're not symmetrical they have a few nicks a few bumps so it's really not a high stress fruit <laughs> but let's get right to it okay so to start with the apple first we're going to use a styrofoam center so that it's not too heavy and then we're going to grab a wire um something not super thick maybe like a 24 would be really sturdy and make almost like a swing by having a flat bottom on the center of your wire and pushing the two ends right through trying to meet in the middle as best you can you want it this way so that it better supports the weight of the apple because it does get a little bit heavy then press down the top where the two wires meet to make that little center indent that the apples have now for this i'm using a fondant that i put tylose powder in you could use a gum paste too and honestly the color that i would recommend is something lighter like a pale light yellow or a pale light green but red was all i had on hand so red is what i'm using and you'll see later on how it is that i go about it as you saw the size was about the size of a styrofoam ball i roll it out pretty thick and then i drape it over and i just start to smooth it with my hands with my hands, I make a little bit of a V shape when I'm rolling it back and forth so that I have a heavier top and a smaller, thinner bottom. And then I just go about shaping it, pushing it down the top center so that you can really notice that shape. And trying not so much to get it perfectly even. One side is a little bulkier than the other and that's totally cool. Now to paint it, I'm going to be using food gel colors and vodka so that it dries relatively quickly and because i have a dark red i'm going to start off with a white paint but i'm not going to paint the whole apple i just want to paint half of it and mostly the top half so that i have a lighter color to my apple i want to give it some green and some yellow hues so that it looks not fully ripe a little bit more colorful now once that dries fully then I go back and I add a bright yellow and the reason I want a bright yellow is because this red on the fondant is already pretty dark so I want something to stand out. I'll let that dry but in the meantime the rest of my apple I'm going in with a crimson red and I want it to be dark because I don't want it to be a bright cartoony red. I want it to have a deeper color so I'm going in with crimson. And what I'm doing is taking a brush that is really light and fluffy and I'm just sort of flicking the paint up and down. This can get messy so just be warned. Once everything is dry again then I go in with a few streaks of green and while normally when you paint you want to have smooth color, with this apple you want a lot of streaks. They have almost like stripes on them and you want that on the apple so feel free to just do a little bit of a bocce job, just streaky here and there, and it'll look natural. It sounds weird, but it'll look really pretty. I also go around with the green on some of the red parts just to make it a little more interesting. And I keep doing these layers of colors until I'm happy. Now, once I have the white, yellow, and green built up, I'm going to go over most of that color with a very, very faint red. 
just so that it doesn't stand out so much and it blends in more with the natural look of the apple. I try to have a few darker spots, a little bit of a darker center and a darker bottom, but really this is all up to you. Whatever you want your apple to look like, make it look that way. Then at the end when it's completely dry, I take a little bit of Crisco. You can barely see any on my brush. And I just shine it all over the apple to give it that little shine that apples sometimes have. I don't know if that's natural or not, but I like the shine on the apple so I gave it. And you could also use confectioner's glaze, but I didn't have any at hand so this is always my go-to when I want a little bit of shine and I don't order things ahead. Stick in a leaf and you're ready for the next part. Now for the apple blossom center, all I have are some threads that I dipped into some colored edible glue so that they could stiffen up. I'm going to cut them twice as long as I want so that I can fold them in half. I grab my very thin wire, maybe like a 32 gauge white wire, put a hook on it, wrap it around the center of the threads, and then I wrap the wire around itself so that it holds the threads in place. You could use store-bought pistols and stamen. I just didn't have any on hand, so I made some of my own. Now for the flower itself, for the petals, you need a wire for each petal, and I have flowers that have five petals each. They're about 34 gauge white and about two to three inches long. Now for my wafer paper, I just go ahead and cut them to whatever size I want make all the squares so that I have a top and a bottom for each petal. And what I'm going to do here is I'm going to take my wafer paper squares in pairs of two and I'm going to cut the shape of the petal that I want. This way I have a perfect match for the top and for the bottom. And having a top and a bottom, I won't run into the problem of having wafer paper seams that show. Now, once I cut them, I line them up and I spray a little vodka on my work mat. I pick up the vodka that's on there with a brush. I brush it onto one petal. I dip my, my wire, sorry, into the edible glue. I put it on that wet petal, sandwich the other matching petal on top, and then wet the entire thing with a bit more vodka so that it softens up. You don't want it to melt on you. You just want it a little bit soft and a little bit of vodka goes a long way. Then I go ahead and put it in a little round mold so it has shape. Now, if you're feeling really fancy, you do all of this and then you dust it with some cornstarch so it's not very sticky because remember it's wet and you press it between two veiners. I'm just using the generic veiner. I think this one is maybe for peonies, I can't remember. But all I care about are the ridges up and down. It's a very tiny flower so you don't really notice. You sandwich it there, press it down for just a few seconds, pull it off and then you have a really pretty vein that stays. Go ahead and prop that into your mold so it has a nice little curl to it and then let it dry. Because it's vodka, it dries pretty quick. You won't be waiting overnight for this by any means. Now for the leaves and the calyx, I go about it a little bit differently. Here I have dark green food color with vodka and my strips that are going to be the height of each leaf. I go ahead and paint the front and back. I put very thin wires, maybe about a 32 gauge, spaced the distance of the width that I want each leaf, and then I put the other wafer paper that matches it on top, and then I paint it. I paint this super generously because I'm going to leave it on here to dry completely. So I'm not worried about picking it up. This one can get very wet. Again, you don't want it to melt, but you don't really have to worry about whether you can pick it up or not like you did with the petals for the flower. 
and go ahead and make sure everything is pressed on really well and you can tell it's drying because it starts to peel up and so once it starts to peel up and I can pick it up that's when I start cutting everything to size I go ahead and cut out the individual ones one by one give it a little curl before it fully fully dries because once it fully dries because I only used vodka you won't be able to move it again if you move it you will crack it so definitely do this as soon as it dries which it can be a while some of mine I left overnight and I was still fine just don't let it dry for a few days because then it will crack for the petals on the flower I'm just giving it a little bit of a light fuchsia on the bottom and on the tips just to just to give it a little bit of color and make it a little more interesting and have it pop a little more and not just be a plain white now I grab that very simple center that I had, wrap some tape around it, and I go ahead and one by one wrap my five petals around it. At this point, I'm keeping the tape all at the same level, and once I have them all on there, then I angle it at 45 degrees and run my tape down. Now I'm going to go ahead and start at the top again, but this time I'm going to put my calyx petals on there. I have five individual ones. And I do it the exact same way. Just run it around at the same height until you have them all on there. And then I start to run my tape down my stem. I add my leaf on there and I finish running it all the way down. Now these calyx, because I made them all without knowing what flower they were going to be on, are pretty long. So I can just go trim them and adjust them, but you could also leave them really long and wild. It would be fun that way. Some of mine were that way, but for this one I just trimmed it down a bit. And then you just Attach everything together and attach the apple wherever it is that you would like or leave it separate. Maybe it's a picked apple And that's it guys, hopefully you enjoyed it as always if you have any questions drop them down in the comments below And I will get back to you if you haven't already Please do give this a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button and I will see you guys next week Oh, 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 oh,